Hey friends, alright, so happy 2017 again and again and again, and I've got some really exciting news to share with you, yay! So as many of you all know, I've been working as a bank teller and a head teller, so management, uh, for TD Bank for three years and eight months. Wow! Basically, what got me into the bank was the fact that, one, I went into TD Bank one time to open an account, and the head teller was actually a trans woman, so I was like, this is an accepting company. And two is I had a friend right out of college who was also an artist and a musician tell me that working at a bank for him uh, allowed him to kind of leave his work at work and go home and do his art. So I was like, perfect, because I wanted to make YouTube videos still, and I travel around, I do my gigs. So the bank offered me full benefits, health insurance, things I needed, as well as the ability to leave my work at work. As timing has gone on, one of my biggest projects post-college has been writing a memoir. And guess what? I have to hand that in in less than two weeks. What? So while I've been saying for three years and eight months that I've been writing a memoir, I actually kind of just started writing it about six to eight months ago when I got the contract with the publisher because that was sort of the kick in the butt that was like, hey, these ideas have been in your head. You keep saying you're going to do this. And now I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And it's coming together fantastically. I've been having a great job. And you know what's great is with my day job. I know it so well. I know the ins and outs of banking. I know so much about it. I should make some videos actually probably about things involving banking so I can explain them through metaphors and easier ways to understand them since I understand them very very thoroughly now which I'm very thankful for um, but basically you know I've been doing this forever and I just thought to myself you know maybe I could have a job that doesn't necessarily exist as the entire opposite of everything else I do artistically. So basically I've been saying that I've been writing this memoir all the time and that once I was done writing the memoir I'd go on to the next chapter of the rest of my life and that's coming up real fast. That snuck up super duper fast and as I thought about it I was like maybe I should just look for other jobs, like something else to do after I handed my memoir, something that'll maybe be more consistent hours, that isn't sales focused, um, and that, you know, has some problem solving in it, something that excites me, something that involves my hands-on kind of things. Like, I love to build things, I've made my curtain rods out of industrial pipes, really cool, I love projects like that, and I was like, okay, let me just... Let's just look around a bit. Well, lo and behold, I found this awesome company that I knew people that have worked there or work for companies that work there because it's a co-working space and they're hiring for operations. So I'm like willy willy nilly, I just kind of sent out like an application. Uh, I sent out my resume and my cover letter to them and I was like, why not? Like, let's just see what happens. This company seems really cool. And then they interviewed me three times, which actually made me feel really valued uh, within the company. I don't want to say who it is yet because I'm not starting there until Monday, so I don't want to, you know, you know me. But anyway, um, so I was like, on my second interview when I walked into this space, like, it's just such a cool space. And the people that work there, like, a lot of them are like artists, musicians, creative people, like renaissance-like people, that's what they were saying. And just, I don't know, I felt like they liked me for the weird me, but I also like felt like an imposter because all the people around me were so cool. I was like, there's no way I could possibly get this job or like fit in here. And then like two weeks ago, I got the job offer and I'm so excited and I'm like in disbelief because you know that feeling right when something seems so awesome like whether it's like a college you want to go to or an event you want to go to and you're like oh I look so cool like but I don't deserve this like oh my gosh like I I can't believe it I fished what I wished oh my goodness I'm so happy and it stinks because I'm leaving TD like a week before my memoir is due and I didn't have that long to say goodbye to them it kind of although it was like a month of interviewing it kind of came on suddenly I wasn't expecting it and I'm stoked about it the thing about this is really like my day job will be now just hanging shelves, doing client orders in this co-working space, like doing operations. So I sit in this office with a team and we move around, we move furniture, we build furniture, we do really cool projects. There's a Zen room that has these pillows that are like pebbles. It's just really, really cool. The only downsides, right? Because, well, let me tell you the positive first. The positive is it's consistent hours. I'm not sure what they'll be yet, but it's Monday through Friday in the morning until like one or 2 p.m. It's very consistent. They have kitchens there, y'all know I like to snack. So I get to have a working lunch, which means I get to snack. Okay, I'm really excited about snacking. Um, I might have said that a lot in my interview. I was like, snacks, tea. There's a wall of tea there, a wall of tea. Anyway, 
Not only that, but um, I'll get to be doing all this on consistent hours and with really neat people and there'll be like goals and projects and I'll get to work on them and sometimes have my own projects and like, what? So I'm just totally stoked. Plus I found out that some of my old neighbors, one of them works there and the other one works for a company that rents their, their space there. It's like this big co-working, really cool community. It's just very, 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 way too cool. And now the only downside is like one, I'll get paid a dollar less an hour than what I get paid now, which isn't a big deal. Um, I'm willing to take that sacrifice uh, because I'll be working more hours and it'll be more consistent. And then the only other thing that like got my head in a bumble about it was that because I'm part time there, I won't be offered health insurance. And I was like, oh my God, that's why I've had a day job pretty much is just to like make sure I can pay my rent and have health insurance. But I realized actually by buying my health insurance through the public market, which I just did through Massachusetts um, health plan, I'm actually saving money. Um, it's less expensive with a lower deductible than what my old employer's health insurance was when I was part time there. Even though I got health insurance, it was more expensive. Um, but that's exciting. But also it's a step in me being freelance. It's a step in me looking towards the two, three, four, five year goals and saying to myself, I might either stay at this company and continue to move up and do really cool things with this company because um, I really like it. If I stay in Boston, fantastic, um, lovely. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens over the next year. But it also gives me this opportunity of if things go really well with the memoir and in a year or two from now, if I'm writing another book and I want to just do that, if I want to just make videos and write books and make music and make paintings and do the things that I really enjoy doing that I do outside of my day job, having my own health insurance is a step in the direction to being able to do that. It's not contingent upon my employer. Um, it's just contingent upon my income. So I'm just very, very, very excited. I'm also going to get to wear business casual rather than wearing suits. So I got all sorts of cute clothes. <laughs> I'm actually wearing leggings right now, but you, you can't see it. Ugh. I can't get I can't get that high. Oh, oh god. Oh, I think I just broke I just broke my crotch a little bit. Oh god. Oh, okay. So anyway, I start at the new job on Monday. I'm really, really, really excited for something new, something that meets my New Year's resolution. My goal for 2017 was to get out of sales and retail, um, and I did that in the first month. I have no idea how. And not only did I do that, but I ended up at a place that I find to be really cool really cool. So I can't think of anything better and I wanted to share that good news with you. But yeah, I'm going to be able to have a routine now. I'll be able to have a routine around going to the gym, around making videos, around finishing my EP because I'll have a consistent schedule and not be working every weekend or every other weekend. I'll have more time with Tess for us to make videos together because she's only free on the weekends really. And I'm just so happy. I feel blessed right now and I just want to share that with you all. Okay, thanks for listening to my rambling, rambling, ramblings, but uh, much love, much light, and I'll be back soon. <laughs>